I have no idea where he placed it. The lich, so... There are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. Oh. At what price? Okay, if I remember correctly, there was a cave where I looked in, and it looks like there were skeletons doing dark ritual. You defeat the skeletons, but the lich is still alive. The lich is an undead, is an undead able to hurt deadly balls of magical fire. She can also consume other enemies in order to restore her health. Liches are known in legend as the greatest of the undead. Only the most powerful or most foolhardy of wizards attempt to summon one, and only the most unlucky actually succeed. Wow, scary. Again, a token is at stake. In the ruins of an old temple, you feel a presence of something evil and unnatural. You have discovered the lich, a powerful undead monster. Attack the lich. You bravely approach the evil undead. Wow, I never fought one of these things before. Two of skulls, two of skulls. Alright, bring it on. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, you're even the same. You're literally in the same tempo as well. Oh, nope. Don't want you to attack me. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow, 20 damage. That's insane. Oh. Um. Wow. Oh. You want this destroy the minion. If nothing else, she, she, uh, she can eat, she can eat the minions, I think. Oh shoot, no, no, don't kill me, please. Uh oh, you're not gonna get me this time. Oh, there you go. Uh oh, let's go, wait, go, go, go. Woo. The lag is powerful here in this game. Probably the lich's fault this time. Uh, uh, oh, 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 there you go. I always find it funny that I can use somehow reflect fireballs. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I usually, I, I'm gonna hear it like a few times and then flee. Oh, oh, no, go back, go back, go back. Oh my gosh, she must be annoying to deal with. Uh. Oh. I don't know. I I feel like if you stay in that little portal thing, you just... Oh god. If I lag, I usually just run away because I know I'm not going to make it. Oh, she's too far away. Ah, I'm so scared to get near her because she does like 20 amount of damage. That's just insane. insane. Oh, I don't want. I don't want to stay there for too long. Ooh. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> that blocked it. I'm not sure if I was gonna get it. Good to there. Ah, uh, it doesn't have. A, I only have like a rusty axe with me too, by the way. <laughs> so it's like, uh oh, you're gonna defeat her with a rusty axe? Yeah, I defeat the greatest known threat with a rusty axe. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna infect it with sun up. Uh, infected with the disease of my rusty axe. You know what this? You know, you know what would be really cool? Okay, I know they're completely different games, but in Dragon's Dogma, um, if you if you upgrade your rusty weapons, like the beginning of your of your weapons. Uh, because they're so, you know, you know, rusty, um, I, you know, rusty weapons can really get you infected, right? They might not be good in combat, but they're dangerous in the sense that they carry a lot of these diseases or they can open old wounds. You know, they're dangerous in its own way. So I'm thinking, why can't, like, rusty weapons, like, do that? Like, 
give you like all like give them like slow slow them down do something oh did I kill it oh thank god Oh man, you search the remains of the loot. The deer draws you two green cards. The card token is now yours. Five max health. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. All right, armory draw one or something. Um, an excellent way to turn an injury into an asset. Uh, true, but what does this do? Uh, I I guess I'll choose this one. Chains for armor, as you will. Yeah, I'll get this one. Where adventurer? Class is loosed upon. Release the, the leech. I guess I got the leech now. Oh, I got the metal ore now. Uh, yeah, I can. Calm down. Oh, I forgot to read it. Ah. Uh. No! No! I got the metal ore! I finally got the metal ore! Don't make me fight the Queen of Skulls yet! Game, no! Don't do this! No! <sighs> As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. I forgot Queen of King Skulls. I am so sorry. I'm. <sighs> So this is my first time fighting the Queen of Skulls. Oh, wow, a musketeer. I defeated a dang lich, by the way. I hope you know that, Queenie. At least don't revive your troops. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, ah! Oh, what's that? Oh, oh that doesn't look good. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. I need to destroy that fast. So, it looks like the enemies you destroy stay dead, but I'll revive more enemies. Oh, let me go back. Ah! Oh, up, 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 nope, 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 destroy this, destroy this. There I go. Oh. Wow, okay. Oh, oops, dodge it. Ah, the lag! The lag! Run! I am just dodging these guys. No more musketeers. Oh, but. She died from spikes. Then it is done. When even a creature as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. All right, let's see what we got. For reaching the train post in the deep forest, you receive 10 food, trader spring, uh, wilderness armor. For raiding the White Council Tower, you receive Ma Mage Strike, the White Council 5. For defeating the Lich, you receive the following cards 5 food, uh, Mask of Extortion, Occult Reflection, Disciples Ring, and Druids. 
For a re for as a reward for defeating my skeleton and queen, you receive Queen of Plague. The lizards don't. As a reward for defeating my skeleton queen, you receive Arrow Cutter. Mortal Whimsy. One more round. Yes, I wanna play again, and I will! Because once I finish editing this session, and I'm so happy to finally be done with it. That's the first time I fought the Queen of Skulls, but not the first time I died in her and her deck. Because holy shit, her deck is with a white console. I, I died with a white console. I'm going to show you the, those uh, failure attempts after the end of the, of the game. But finally, after so many multiple tries, I finally did it, and it's one of the reasons why it makes this game so great. Yes, it can be a little frustrating when you die again and again, but when you win, when you succeed, when you pick the right cards, oh, it's so good, especially when you do new events. And the luck factor can be uh, mixed results, I think, but ultimately, it adds so much tension to the game. But I'll see you guys the next episode.